Hey everyone, Pat Mitchell here, and in this free video lesson from Trick Trades, I'm going to show you how to switch biases on the fly. So let's get into it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when Trick Trades goes live to answer your day trading questions. Okay, folks, so one of the biggest problems, uh, one, or not, not so much, I guess, problem, but biggest hurdles uh, of, a, of a new day trader is the ability to switch your bias. Okay, biases, um, I don't care what anyone says. Biases, you're going, you're going to have one. Either you're going to uh, lean mainly towards long or mainly short. Don't let anyone lie to you. You're just, you're going to. It's human nature to pick sides. Life is about picking sides, right? Bottom line. So we have to fight that urge to pick that side, so to speak. Now, it's still fine. Do not get my words mixed up. It's still fine to develop trade plans leaning from one side to another. I do it all the time, okay? Um, but the ability to, to switch your bias on the fly, meaning uh, in the heat of the moment, in the heat of battle, will make you a lot of money in day trading, okay? So <clears throat> ZN, for an example. Now, guys, I'm sure people that have watched my... Um, uh, my YouTube, uh, they, you guys know that I mainly, uh, I mainly short, right? So, um, and I also mainly stay away from penny stocks. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I will take advantage of the opportunity when it's there. I really don't care what stocks I play. Um, mind you, my preference though is mid and large cap to mega caps. Okay. I try and stay away from small caps. I just I find that, uh, there's a better way. And besides, because I'm running a day trading chat room, uh, that largely caters to new and struggling traders. Uh, that's one of my biggest bitches is that a lot of you guys have been told that small caps and penny stocks are the way for you guys to build small accounts. It's not. There, you may do well for a while, and then you're just going to get your ass handed to you. Small caps uh, and nano caps, they work until they don't, and then you're, you're going to take a big hit. And they, Because a lot of them are really low floaters, you're going to get your ass handed to you if, if they decide to change direction and someone dumps out uh, a large position on you. So <clears throat> that's why I have a tendency to stay away from them, just, just more so for uh, my members' um, uh, protection, really. Um, so ZN, we'll get into the trade here. I took <clears throat> two days in a row I traded this, and it's just been, I've been banking on it. So ZN, I'll go to the three minute just so you can see. So we had this big run up. Trying to end a day on, um, uh, that was Monday. It uh, it really ripped up, Okay. Um, or Tuesday, that might have been, sorry. Uh, it, it just ripped up uh, right after lunchtime, got this huge spike in Momo, and just like took off to the moon. Uh, we'll go over the daily chart here just uh, just quickly. You can see it's it's had a massive move, right? Um, it basically, this, this big move took quite a few days <clears throat> to happen, and it basically happened all in one day. So this is caused by a short squeeze. It's also caused by people chasing. Uh, the first day, I never, I never, I don't touch these on the first day. There, you don't have any data. You don't have any, uh, although there is support and resistance, maybe if you bought this breakout here, um, but it could have stalled out right at the $3 and really instantly dumped hard against you. Um, so I just stay away on the first day. I let these things set up. Uh, we have a, train, uh, a saying at uh, Trick Trades, um, we watch today's market for tomorrow's plays. Now that means I do and mainly trade off of my nightly scans, uh, my watch list. And that's how you really, really capitalize in the markets is being prepared. Preparations, everything guys. So, <clears throat> so the first day, just kind of let it do its thing. Um, when I saw this run up right at the end of the day, I did consider shorting it and then holding overnight, but that's, that can be just suicide. I'm just not into that. Uh, there's a much safer way. Just wait till uh, pre-market or the um, um, uh, the market open, and and then go from there, right? So, 
with Zn, I'll get zoomed back in here. So you can't see the pre-market action here, but I got short somewhere in this area, and um, and then it just it uh, trailed off, and um, this this little spike here um, uh, added, and it dumped out. Now here's where the bias switch happens, because this is so heavily shorted. And it was also an easy borrow on SureTrader and the uh, short sale restri restriction SSR was on. It'll have a tendency to grind back up and it, it, it'll squeeze out. It'll squeeze out. And I mean, that's that's exactly what it did. So <clears throat> I was short. I covered up as soon as this started happening right in here. I got out and I took it long. I took it long into the VWAP. Okay. And as soon as it st just started showing signs of weakness, I went short again, thinking that it had the possibility to test low of day. It didn't. It put in this, this higher low, okay? And this higher low was holding. So I got out on the secondary test, and I went long right here, okay? So as soon as it started bouncing off that, I got long. And I rode this all day long. So I got short somewhere in this area with an ad. I took it for 60 cents and then I took it for another another 20 cents long and then I took it for uh, about 15 cents short and then I wrote it all day long thinking there would be an, uh, a late day squeeze, which there was. It's co this was so completely predictable, guys. And I called this all out live at tricktrades.com chat. I called it all out live. I could have, you could have, I could have basically held your hand and walked you through this trade and you could have banked paying more than, more than uh, your monthly, um, uh, your yearly subscription fees. Easily, easily, just on one trade alone. So... Uh, like I said, I took it long here, and I cashed out. I got most of my shares out at this push. Right here is where I took it off for well over a point on about a three and a half, four dollar stock. Okay, so add that up: sixty cents, twenty cents, fifteen cents, a dollar fifteen on one. Back and forth, back and forth, all day long, just like a tennis game, man. Made this stock my bitch. Sorry, guys, but that's how it was. So, today, so we look at the chart, okay? Started going red, first red day. Easy money, guys, easy money. So, that's, that's a, a beautiful setup. Um... You can you can basically start. Uh, I risked off of pre-market highs and quick pop. Died. Quick pop again. This is where I got in and rode this down. I rode it down, and as soon do you see this volume increase right here? As soon as I start seeing that, I take the majority of my position off, and because this was first red day. I was really patient. I didn't really take too much off on the way down. Just very few here I covered. Uh, just paid myself on the trade. Very, very little. Uh, didn't really care what it did after that. And then this is where I, I took most of my position off. And then it started popping back right up in here. As soon as it popped up based and this candle shot up, I'm like, no, I'm out. I'm done. That's it. This thing's going to squeeze. I did not switch long on this one. I normally won't do that on a red day. Um, just one of my little rules. It's not It's not like a really hardcore set in stone rule, but I usually don't. I'll just let it do whatever it's going to do now. I've made my money. I'm not going to get greedy, and I'll walk away. Now, tomorrow, how do we play this tomorrow? So tomorrow, I think we may see a little bit of a push in the morning and then continuation uh, down. But here's the thing. I've got a funny feeling that ZN is not done. 
I just, and it, I know people say you don't trade on your gut, only fools do. I'll tell you what, that right there is bullshit. It's total bullshit because if you have the ability to read the emotion in the market, you can absolutely trade like that because I do and I've made a good living at it, okay? So the people that say that, they just don't have the ability to do it and they don't understand it, okay? And that's fine, right? But, uh, you know, th this here, I've seen this set up so many times, so many times. You get a big power candle up and it just consolidates. You get that red day and then it'll, it's just, it's going to squeeze because you got a million shorts in this now thinking they smell blood. Now, I'm not saying it's going to, and I don't really care either way, guys. I don't care which way this goes. As if it goes down, I'm going to short it and make money. And if it, and if it breaks this, this area right here, I'm going to long it and make money. I don't care what these stocks do, guys. Long or short, this is how we make our money, man. I don't care what these do. So, I hope this helps. Watch this video a couple times. And I know it may sound, uh, you know, the information may sound simple. But, you know, as soon as you start seeing a stock put in a higher low, it's going to push up. Now, it depends. I don't know how far up these are going to push. But when there's a high probability that this is going to short squeeze, take it long. Get out of it short. Take it long. What's the worst going to happen? You're going to be wrong. Give a shit if you guys are wrong. Quit worrying about being wrong. If you are so scared that you're you're going to be wrong in, in trading, guys, you'll fail, man. You'll never make it. Never. You, you have to be comfortable with being wrong. I don't care if I'm wrong on a trade. What does it matter, right? You know, odds are I'm going to be right. But if I'm wrong, I don't care. It, it doesn't it doesn't bother me in the slightest and it shouldn't bother you either and if you can't wrap your heads on that around that you're gonna have to pack it up because you you I'm telling you won't you won't make it you may luck out on a couple good trades but you're gonna be so scared that you're gonna be wrong you're just gonna chip away at that account All right so so I hope this helps guys and that's what I got for you uh, make sure to hit subscribe and uh, like and share Spread the word, guys. Give a guy a hand. Let's get this information out there because a lot of these guys, man, they sell bogus information, and I'm tired of it. So um, let's spread the word. Thanks, guys. Adios.